What's up, guys? This is the Galaxy's Greatest, Austin Pepper here, and I am here solo. I have no one with me this week. This is the first time I got to do a video by myself all season, actually, so I'm surprised it took this long. But, uh, yeah, as you guys can tell, I am under the weather, so I'm going to try and get out of here because my voice is probably either really annoying, it it's annoying me. So, uh, first things first, last week, five-way tie for winners this past week. Myself, Shane DeVoe, Hagi, Mama Peffer, and Big Boss Man 25, all with 13 wins, 13 and 3 for the week. Uh, current leaderboard, Shane DeVoe has 118 wins in the lead. Big Boss Man 25 right behind him with one, well, not right behind him, but behind him with 113, and I'm right behind him with 112. So those are the current standings. Let's get into week 13. My goodness, week 13 already. So Thursday night game, the Redskins at the Cowboys. I really wanted to go with the Cowboys because I, I I feel like they I I feel like they should be good, but they're just not without Zeke. And I mean, yeah, Tyron Smith is I mean he was back last week and they didn't do too good, but it was a short week. So who knows, maybe they'll do good, but I don't know. I'm having trouble trusting the Cowboys, so I think I have to take the Redskins here. Don't love it, but I got to do it. Next, we have the Minnesota Vikings at the Atlanta Falcons, one of the key games of the week. I really wanted to go with Atlanta, but I can't go against Minnesota right now. They are just way too good right now. They are just on a roll. Got to roll with the Vikings here. New England at Buffalo. Got to go New England here, plain and simple. San Fran at Chicago, really wanted to go San Fran here, but eh, I don't know if I can trust it. I'm going to roll with the Bears right now, but uh, who knows? Uh, What's-his-face is starting. Uh, Garoppolo's starting, so maybe the Niners get their second win of the season. We'll see. Denver at Miami, both these teams stink. <laughs> I mean, I, I know San Fran and Chicago both stink, but this might be the stink game of the week, but I'm going to roll with Denver here. I don't like either pick, though. Heck, if I could, I'd pick a tie, but I'll roll with Denver. Detroit at Baltimore. Uh, Going to roll with Baltimore here. I I think Baltimore's on a roll. Their defense is killing it. Offense, still not that good, but Flacco's playing a little better. And if they do at least decent, the defense will hold up and Baltimore should get a win. But I'm not trying to... And I know Detroit's probably the better team, but... Baltimore's got home field. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a lot of emotion. Uh, I mean, if I was going quarterback versus quarterback, I'd take the Lions easily. But I don't know. It's, this game could go either way. But I gotta go with the Ravens here. Tampa Bay at Green Bay. <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, like I said, I am sick. Jameis Winston's coming back. Uh, really. I don't know. I, I think I got to roll with Green Bay here. When in doubt, roll with the home team. And it's in late November. Well, it'll be December. Tampa Bay's a South team. Might not be adjusted to the cold climate. I think that's I think that's a possible reason Green Bay wins. Going to play a little bit of that. Uh, we have Houston at Tennessee. Going to roll with Tennessee. Houston's not the same team that destroyed this team earlier this season. Like 57-14. Yeah, they're not that same team. Indianapolis at Jacksonville. Got to roll with Jacksonville here. Plain and simple. Kansas City at New York Jets. Had some trouble picking this game. Kansas City just on a terrible, terrible decline. I think this will be a really close game. I think I'm barely going with Kansas City, but this might be the last time I pick Kansas City. My goodness. Cleveland at LA Chargers. I know this is the team that the one team Cleveland beat last year. Will the same fate happen again? I don't think so. Chargers are looking really hot right now. Got to roll with L.A. New York Giants at Oakland Raiders. Real shame what happened to Eli Manning. Real, real freaking shame. But, I mean, it is what it is. The Giants obviously are just trying to tank at this point. If if Eli started this game, they might have had a shot. But now uh, I can't trust Geno going right into Oakland right now. I mean, Oakland's not too good themselves, but they're fighting for a playoff spot at least. I'm going to roll with the Raiders here. L.A. Rams at the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, Rams are just the better team. I got to roll with the Rams. 
Carolina at New Orleans, another key game this week. Uh, probably the toughest one for me to pick. New Orleans got a lot of nagging injuries on defense right now, and it kind of showed this past week. You know what? I'm going to upset of the week. I'm going to say Carolina Panthers over the New Orleans Saints. Going to roll with it. I mean, it's a bit risky because who knows what Cam, because some weeks he's good, other weeks he's not. Is I guess we'll see. Hopefully Cam's doing good and they roll with it. Philly at Seattle. I was thinking Seattle, but more I think about it, Philly's just too good. I mean, really it's a matter of how they do in the West Coast, but Philly's just doing too good. I got to roll with Philly here. If this game were in Philly, I'd definitely take Philly, but it's in Seattle. <sighs> Who knows? But uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Philly gets it done. This might be their hardest victory yet. And finally, Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. You know what? If, if I had the guts, I'd take Cincinnati, but I don't. And really, I just can't trust Cincinnati. Primetime game, and they, they always find a way to score. They always find a way to shoot themselves in the foot this game. I mean, Pittsburgh, I mean, it's they're looking like they're trying to play ahead and all this playing down the talent stuff, it's it's going to catch up to them. I mean, it, it, it will eventually. Trust me, I'm a Steelers fan. I know this stuff. But uh, I'm going to roll with the Pittsburgh Steelers here. So there you have it. Those are all the teams I'm picking this week. Sorry this video is a bit shorter. Maybe it's for the better that it's shorter, but... uh. Yeah, thanks for bearing with me. This has been the Galaxy's Greatest Sauce and Pepper. I wish you all a good day. Take it easy.